This is a tutorial guide for how to create each type of staff in Exodus. A staff breaks down into three pieces, wood, a golden scepter, and a gem. Different staff types require different materials, and they also require a specific level or greater than that level to create. I'm withdrawing staff rods. A staff rod requires carving two of the same logs to create a staff rod. This could be two sycamore logs to create a sycamore staff rod. In this example, I'm withdrawing sycamore staff rod, poplar staff rod, pine staff rod, acacia staff rod, and a wisteria staff rod. I'm also withdrawing the gems required to attach to the staff rod, and I've withdrawn the gold scepters to attach to them. As we head to the workbench, let me explain how to get the other items. Gems can be earned while scavenger hunting, or drops from creatures. Gold scepters can be created by gathering gold ore, smelting it into bars, and then forging the bar on the anvil into a gold scepter. Now that we've arrived to the workbench, click on it. There will be category options, ones for weapons, ones for tools. We will want to click weapons because this is a staff. Choose the staff option. I'm going to start with a topaz staff. Each staff is named after the associated gem and the recipe for the item will be shown above. After clicking assemble, the items that are going to be assembled will be shown on the workbench. When the assembly is complete, it will show XP and it will show the completed item in your inventory. Repeat the process to do a different type of staff. Here are recipes for creating each type of staff. Staves are the only item that can be assembled with three items at one time. Each staff will be used in the magic combat skill and gems will be the ammo. Earlier in this video I explained how to get the items I was using to assemble the staff rods. Players do not have to farm the materials themselves. Players have the option to trade amongst themselves with the peer-to-peer -peer trading system built into Exodus. They can trade item to item or they can use the in-game currency as a medium of exchange. In the future, Exodus plans to have its own exchange. This will make it so players can list offers to purchase or sell items and then leave it there until it's filled. This will make things much easier for players rather than having to go find someone that has a specific item and purchase it from them. That's the end of this tutorial. I've shown how to create each type of staff rod in Exodus. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. And if you wish to make a specific request for a video, leave that below as well.